Good morning from Rita's Brews. Well, I'm just going to do a short vlog to tell you what I'm going to do today. What I'm going to be working on for a little while. Hope I get it done pretty quick. Seems like I've been busy, busy, busy. If it was potatoes, beans, beans. And now, guess what? Corn. So Terry, my husband, has been out to the garden and he picked half of a row and shucked it for me. And I've got this much corn. I told him to put it in these bags. That way the flies and the stuff couldn't get on it till I could work on it. But it's not been in here 20 minutes maybe. And I'm gonna put it in the sink and I'm gonna wash it. Let me move it over there. I'm gonna go right there and dump it in the sink. It, I'm proud to get it, it's pretty good. We, we planted candy corn and bodacious. And the bodacious, at the same time, and the bodacious got ready before the candy corn. So this is bodacious. And I'm going to dump it in my sink and get it washed. That's what I'm going to do. I may let him take that back out and reuse it. He's going to... He said he would get me three of those. It, he picked a, like a milk crate full before it was shoved. And that's what it come out to in here. So that's not too bad. So he's gonna get me two more and then we're gonna give some to the kids. And then we're gonna wait for the candy corn and, and pick more bodacious. I'm telling you, I never get caught up. Get some water on that. And what I'm gonna do with it, well, I'm gonna cut it off the cob and use well, and I'm going to use this electric, electric skillet here and I'll make what some people call fried corn I kind of call it cream corn but I'm going to cut it off and get all the good creamy parts and cook it in there with the butter might even add a little sugar maybe shouldn't do that been a few days since this skillet's been used. I don't use it all the time, but it comes in handy sometimes. Let's see. Where would I, where would I want to put it? I guess I could put it right over there. You see that blank spot right there? That's where my computer sits sometimes. When I'm working in here and I'm listening to some of you guys watching YouTube videos, that's a, that's a computer spot. But I've moved it over here right now. So I may find another spot. So I may put my electric skillet right over here and get it plugged up and go in here in a minute. But I've got to wash this corn and get it cut off. And I'll give you just a quick, a quick show you what I do. Now this is one of my favorite corn cutters. I've had these this in a long time. And I actually got two of them now. You know why I got two of them? Because a long time ago when I got mine and I enjoyed it, I got one for my mother-in-law. And my mother-in-law passed away. And I, and when we divvied up, got her, moved her stuff, I ended up with hers. So I've got two of them. But I guess I'm the only one that cuts the corn off the cob around here. Terry will help me some, but not a whole lot. All right, let me check my water. And I know we don't get real picky about the silks because the silks are edible too. But look at those. You know what? We need this one for lunch, don't I? It's too, that one's almost too pretty to cut off the cob. You want to cut those scrappy ears off the cob. Don't you? Now I'm not, I usually use a different, different size. I'm not sure if this is going to work or not. All that juicy stuff comes off. I may even take my knife and scrape more of it. If I go back again, because you want all the good part. I'm skinning my fingers before doing this. And it's so juicy. 
They used to tell me you want to run with corn from the garden so it would keep all of its juice and not. And you don't want to wait till it gets past its prime because then it's not juicy. Go back over. Got I've got all the stuff off of that. And can you can you see my juicy part in there? Now I've got another little cutter here that I saw oh, a couple years ago. I think one of the ads through through Facebook or something come up. And it showed this little thing. And this little thing was pretty handy. Let's see if it'll work. Let's get that over. Let's try this one. Where do I want to start at? That works pretty good too. You see that? But then I'm going to use that to scrape those juices. Oop, making a mess here. I don't think I'm going to can any corn this year. I've still got a lot canned. So I'm going to cut it off the cob and like I said, fry it. Make cream corn and put it in the freezer this year. I think I've got the freezer space. If I didn't have the freezer space, I'd want to can it. Get, my, get that juice. Want all the good part too. And this is not it's not gonna be whole kernel. I might do some whole kernel. Might be nice to do some and put in the freeze dryer. That might be a good idea. Let's do one more with this thing. And did I tell you already that I finished my bread and butter pickles? I got them done. And in my spare time, I'm a putting part of the potato, getting part of the potatoes ready to go in the freeze dryer too. And when I, after I get through with this video, I'm going to readjust my position here and I'm going to sit down and do this. This is going to be a sit down job for me today till I have to get up to do something. And I've got all the, all the juice out of those. My work's cut out for me today. Let me put these in my bucket over here. <laughs> and that's what it's gonna look like. And I'll put it in there and I'll cook it till it, and it'll change its color and texture just a little bit as it cooks down. And that's the way I do my fried corn. All right. I'll see y'all later. I've got work to do. Y'all stay busy too doing something today. No sewing on quilt blocks for me for a while. Got to do this. This is something that has to be done timely and it can't be put off very long. Bye y'all. Have a blessed day.